I've tried do not call lists and all kinds of other databases to try to stop spam on my phone. So I decided to build a phone spam destroyer. You'll need a few things for the phone spam destroyer, and it'll cost you about 10 bucks or so, depending on what you have in your parts bin. You're going to need a project box to hold all the components. Now, it can be any kind of box. I've had this one, and it's going to be the perfect size. You'll also need a small, high-quality speaker. Again, this is one I've had from another project. A momentary switch is what we'll use to activate the phone spam destroyer. An eighth-inch audio jack is what we'll use to input our sound. And a recording module. I've used these before in other projects, and you can find a link for where to buy them on my site, kipk.com. They typically have a record button, a playback button, a speaker, and a microphone. The recording module is going to need some work, so we'll break out the soldering iron and get to it. First, we'll unsolder that little microphone because we're not going to use it, but we're going to save it for another project. And the two wires that we unsoldered from the microphone are going to go directly to our audio jack. The wires can be soldered to either connection. We'll be replacing that really cheap speaker, so we'll unsolder that as well. I'll be using my solder sucker to make that job easier. Now that the speaker's unsoldered, it's time to use some wire. We'll solder the two connections from one end of that wire to the connections that we just unsoldered the speaker from. Now the playback button is mounted directly to the circuit board, and that also has to come off. So you flip the board over, and there's these three tabs that just straighten out, and that little button comes right off, revealing the two contacts where we're going to add some more wire. Now it's time to work on our enclosure. Pop off that cover and lay it on a flat surface, and then we're going to take our new higher quality speaker and lay it face down on that cover. And I just used a pencil to trace around it. Then I busted out the Dremel to start cutting through that top to make room for the speaker. Well, that's a pretty good fit. And to hold it in place, hot glue. So I'll use a generous amount around the edge of that speaker to secure it in place in the top of our enclosure. Now that our speaker's mounted, it's time for that momentary switch. And that's going to go in the top as well on one end next to the speaker. I used a drill with a bit a little bit larger than the switch and drilled through that top. And the switch fits in perfectly. I'll use the nut on the other end to secure it. Now it's time for one more smaller hole and this is going to go in the enclosure itself on the end. And this will be for our audio jack. That'll go through the hole from the inside and be secured on the outside with the enclosed nut. Now that our audio jack is in place, everything is just about ready to go. I plugged an audio cable into the destroyer and the other end to my computer. Then it's time to record the phone spam destroyer sound effect. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again, or call your operator to help you. Once that was recorded, I removed the audio cable and put all the components inside the phone spam destroyer. And put the screws to it. Now when I'm just sitting around at home, I'll keep the phone spam destroyer handy, and the next time somebody calls with a private number or no caller ID, I'll answer and activate the destroyer. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again, or call your operator to help you. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again or call your operator to help you. They hear that and end up hanging up. And hopefully that'll put an end to that spammer. Well, that's how to make the fun phone spam destroyer. Click the box on the left to check out my channel with more videos or the box on the right for more home security videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.